everyone, welcome back to Art by K. And today I am going to be giving you guys an easy abstract painting tutorial. Kids are spending more and more time at home and not a lot of them have access to arts and crafts and things like that. So I'm here to bring you an easy tutorial that you can do with your sons, your daughters, your cousins, your nephews, if you're babysitting, anyone that is interested in easy painting that looks nice and polished when you're done. I mean, babies can do this and it will still turn out really, really nice. So stay Stay tuned for the tutorial and let's get into the video. For this painting you're going to need a sheet of watercolor paper or painting paper, a cup for your water, a brush, you're going to need painters tape, you can get different sizes, and a palette for your paint. And lastly, of course, you're going to need paint. So you can select what colors you'd like and let's get started. So you're going to take your painter's tape and you're going to place this wherever you'd like. Allow the kids to have freedom to put the tape wherever they like because this is their painting. And so you can help them with making sure that the tape is completely adhering to the paper. So you just want to firmly press the tape down all the way. And so you can help them with that. But allow them to put it wherever they like. Of course, remind them that wherever the tape is, there's going to be white. If you put too much tape, you're not going to have anywhere to paint. But allow them to have as much freedom as possible. And so as you see, I'm just figuring out where I want to place my tape. Towards the end of the video, I'm going to give you another example of what a painting may look like using different size tape. Now the fun begins. On this painting, I'm using a watercolor technique even though I'm using acrylic paints, but allow your kids to have fun with this part. If they paint on the tape, that is perfectly okay. Allow them to experiment with different colors, different brushes, if they like to use different brushes, small brushes, big brushes. Have fun with this part. And you wanna make sure that once you're done painting, you allow it to dry completely. So when your painting is completely dry, you can remove the tape. Now as you can see, some of my paint has bled into my white lines. This is perfectly okay. So what you're going to do is just come in with white paint and clean it up. And so you can help whoever you're working with to clean up those white lines. And this is the polished part. Now I want you to see, take a note, you don't see any bleeding at all. So this will be your final result. So this is how mine came out. But I also want to show you a different way of how using different size tape can also contribute to the aesthetic of your painting. Remember to have fun. There are no rules with this. The tape will help. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Let me know. Did you find that easy? I would love to see your results and how those turned out at Art by K. You can send them to me on Instagram. I would love to see how they turned out. Now stay tuned for more videos, tutorials, all things art by subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Whoa.